Hi everyone, I'm Hamish Charhivari from the Technical University of Eindhoven. I present our recent study named a parallel and distributed approach for diversified top K best region search. First, I explain the best, research, best region search problem with an example. Assume that you want to take a trip to Rome and you're searching for a neighborhood inside of the three miles time three miles that contain the highest number of the restaurant. Here on the map, you see the rectangle we are searching for that contain the highest number of the restaurant inside it. This problem can be extended to detect the list of the non-overlapping best regions. And in, this, in that case, these blue regions are the top next results. Today, I will only discuss the case that the user is searching for non-overlap regions, but the algorithm also works for partial overlap cases. Here are the input of the uh, algorithm and the output is a top K uh, non-overlapping regions. There is a centralized algorithm for addressing this problem published in the last year's SIG spatial. The high-level idea is as, as follows. First, the algorithm partitions this space into a uniform, uniform grid that each cells having the size of the query window. Then the algorithm goes over the progressive workflow of the refinement per cells in order to detect the top K regions with the highest score. The detail of the algorithm are not important for our discussion beyond the fact that this is a state of the art, but still quite expensive. The previous algorithm, which we will refer it as a BRS, is a very expensive. To alleviate this issue in this work, we scale out the previous solution over massively parallel processing platform. The first partition the data into the workers, and then each worker executes the algorithm on its own part of the data, and the local results are aggregated at the coordinator to create a final result. As I said, we start by dividing the space into the partition that are larger than the query window. Then we distribute this partition among the available nodes. Some nodes may receive more than one partition, then each partition run the algorithm locally on the region it possess and send the local results to the coordinator. Coordinator, after collecting the local results, aggregate them to output the final results. This may sound fairly straightforward, but it brings a couple of interesting challenges. The first one relates to the regions that cross cut the two or more partitions, like R2 here. Since each partition here includes the data on its own geographical space, these, these regions cannot be detected at any node. To avoid this issue, we split each partition into the uh, cells that have the same size of the query window. Then we replicate the boundary cells into the neighboring partition from the left and above. For example, the blue cells from the partition six and the partition eight are replicated to partition five. Therefore, the node processing partition five will take R2. The second challenge is that it's more difficult to merge at the aggregation phase. Assume we are looking for top two non-overlapping regions. Now we have executed the local algorithm on each node and collected the local results. The node holding P3 returns <coughs> T1 and T2, whereas the node holding the P4 returns R1 and R3. So the aggregator now has T1, T2, R1, and R3. Since we are looking for non-overlapping results, we cannot keep both T1 and R1. We call this a conflict. Therefore, the aggregator will keep T1, which has a highest score than R1, and also T2, which has the next best score in this example. However, if the node holding P4 knew that the R1 cannot be in the final result, then it would have proposed R2, which has a higher score than R3. Similarly, it would have proposed R4, which does not overlap with R2. For large value of the K, we have a chain of these conflicts, which are also potentially long. We propose three algorithms that address this second challenge. The three extremes are the multi-run and the single-run algorithm. We also explore the space between the two extremes by proposing a hybrid algorithm, which outperforms the other two. Here is a step of the multi-run algorithm. The problem in this algorithm is that it gets very repetitive and it handles the conflict one by one. Unfortunately, conflicts happen frequently, result in bad performance. Let's now 
C, help the single learn algorithm avoid this repetition and improve the performance. In a nutshell, the algorithm works by having each worker compute potentially more than k local results per partition. To demonstrate the algorithm, you need a couple of the basic concepts, unsafe and the safe regions. The unsafe regions are the ones that have a sufficiently high score to be included in the partition's top k results, but they may be having an overlap with other regions that have higher score, which potentially belong to the other partitions and are computed by other nodes. These are the regions that overlap with the border cells of the partition or with the unsafe with, or with the other unsafe regions. Here, you, you see two unsafe regions depicted in a purple. Then we have a safe regions, which are the regions that do not overlap with any other regions of the highest score either the safe or unsafe. Here, we have one safe region depicted in green. The Rocker algorithm runs at each worker and then detect the candidate regions. It classifies them as a safe or unsafe. Then it creates the extended dependency graph. Imagine we, are, we run the local algorithm in a partition P5 and we find R1 as a region with the highest score. R1 is unsafe because it is on the border cell of the P5. It's potentially overlap with the regions of the highest score that will be computed from the neighboring partition P1, P2, and P4. Since the worker computing P5 doesn't know this region, it represents them as a, the corresponding coordinate that this region may reside in and creates a graph by adding a dependency between these cells and R1. This dependency means that R1 may be answer, may be the answer as long as no other regions from these coordinates uh, does not overlap it. Then algorithm continues to add the next top regions to the graph. Notice now that the R6 has a dependency from R5, and also notice that R5 is a safe. It doesn't have a dependency with any other region. So we ignore R6. The local algorithm continues until the worker produced exactly K safe region and then send this graph to the coordinator. Here's a visual description of the step we illustrated in a previous slide. The algorithm is guaranteed to finish in a single run and it's faster than a multi-run algorithm. However, these two steps over here, the local computation and aggregation of the dependency graph can take sometimes still less than multi-run algorithm. Our third algorithm strike a balance between the number of the rows and the cost of each run. In the interest of the time, we will not discuss it in a detail. But the key intuition behind this is that each partition contains only a few regions that should be included in the answer. Therefore, the algorithm I ask each node to compute a very few safe regions, let's say five instead of K, thereby drastically reducing the cost of the local execution. And in the practice, in the most cases, the algorithm still requires only one run. You can find the details in the paper. Through our experiment, we have validated all the three algorithms while we are asking different queries on varying data sets. Our data size was a combination of the OpenStreetMap and the Flickr data set that contains 64 million of the points, and 26 million of these points are distinct. Our experimental setup was a cluster with a one coordinator and 10 executor nodes having 30 gigabytes of RAM. Here, we have compared all three algorithms together, and single run is order of the magnitude faster than multi-run, and the hybrid is twice faster than single run. In conclusion, we have introduced a three distributed algorithm for top K BRS problem, and we have conducted several experiments on the real world data set to evaluate the performance algorithm. Based on, our, based on our experiment, we find that the hybrid outperforms the other two algorithms and offer a practical solution for problem of the BRS. And here I am to answer your questions.